Hello kids, Patrick Livingston of easyanimalstodraw.com and today we're going to be drawing this animal. The Golden Retriever. Start as usual by drawing in four marks to define the size of the circle for the hips. I'm dotting this in very lightly. Once I'm happy that it's approximately circular shaped, I can go back in and draw it more firmly. If you look at the drawing on the top left, you'll see that the second circle is not very far away from the first and it's just a little bit bigger. The second circle of course is representing is the drawing guide for the shoulders and chest of our golden retriever. Beautiful dog, the golden retriever. Sturdy muscular dog of medium size, famous for its dense lustrous coat of gold that gives the breed its name. And now the circle for the head. Dotting it in lightly as usual. And if you're not comfortable, if you don't feel confident about drawing in the circles, you can use a compass or a, a lid or a coin or any object of the correct size. But the more you practice drawing circles, the better you'll get at it, and that'll help your drawing overall. Now we draw in a line which will help as a guide for the eyes later. And now the guide for the ear. A semicircle as a guide for the muzzle. And another the nose. Join up the circles. Noting carefully where the lines join. The circles, they don't always go to the top of the circle. Add the tail and the nearmost hind leg. There's an expression in English as crooked as a dog's hind leg. Front legs now, and we're pretty much finished with the drawing guide. Time to move on to the actual drawing. Starting with the eye nearest us. You can see there's a dark mark, dark mark. Or the pupil and a light mark to show the reflection of light in the eye which tells the viewer of the drawing that the eye is a very reflective surface a wet shiny reflective surface now the nose the nostrils and the little slit that the fold of flesh that comes and hangs over from the, the nostril itself. Now the top of the muzzle. And the shape of the head around the eyes. Now I'm lightly drawing in the ear. The 
if you draw it in lightly to begin with, and it's easier to correct and rub out or change if you feel that it's not gone quite perfectly. Now the top of the head, rather broad head. And now the ear nearest us. Notice how droopy the ears of a golden retriever are. A little bit shaggy, so some indication of the of the, the coat, the hair. And now the the muzzle itself. And that big soft mouth. The golden retriever was bred to retrieve birds, so the owner of the dog didn't want his birds coming back all crushed and so the mouth is quite soft and sensitive like all retrievers. Now drawing the tongue I wonder if our retriever is a little thirsty his tongue hanging out or perhaps just hot. And now the shaggy coat. back and hips, top of the hips. Now we're drawing the front leg and the foot, or paw, and notice that shaggy coat. This, 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 the golden retriever was bred in Scotland by Lord Tweedmouth at Inverness Shire, Scotland. And it was bred to be a gun dog that could work in the cold Scottish climate. And that's why you see the thick, lustrous coat, which keeps the dog warm in the coldest of conditions. I notice that the the hair at the front of the dog's leg is smoother. Now the, the shaggy belly hair as it falls down. That's why people like the golden retriever. One of the reasons that people like the golden retriever so much is because of its lustrous golden coat that gives the, the breed its name and now the rather luxurious feathery tail which apparently breeders refer to as being carried with a merry action so Now we're getting quite close to my favourite bit. Here we go. Removing the the drawing guide, which until it's removed, it always leaves the, the dog looking as if it's got a slightly mechanical kind of look to it. Once we take that away, it'll look far more natural. Restating the mouth a little more strongly. And now back to removing the guide. I always find it a little bit a little bit magical at this stage of the drawing.
and the guide disappears and the dog appears just as a, a natural looking animal. The guide, of course, makes it much, much easier to get the proportions correct. And it's much easier to focus on the size and shape of circles and lines at the beginning of the drawing. So you're dividing up the task of doing a good drawing into different easy to do to follow stages, which makes a lot of sense. I'm just going back and putting back in the the parts that have been accidentally removed. The breed was built to retrieve waterfowl for hours on end. So they love swimming. Lord Tweedmouth crossed his yellow retriever with a breed that is now extinct, the Tweed Water Spaniel. An Irish setter and a bloodhound were also added to the mix. And the Golden was first seen at a British dog show in 1908, so it's quite old. And derived in America by way of Canada and became really popular when President Gerald Ford acquired a beautiful golden retriever, which he called Liberty. Now we move on to the shading. Shading in the nose, leaving a little area of the nose paler at the top, because the nose is a little bit reflective. So the top of the nose will reflect the light a little bit. So now the, the indication of the, the muzzle hairs and a little bit of shagginess at the top of the head and in the ears. So because the the golden retriever has a quite a luxurious coat you're you're not going to we're not going to be indicating the muscles that much because they're rather disguised by the thickness of the luxurious coat this is more about giving an indication of how thick and luxurious that coat actually is at the same time indicating that it's not a white dog it is a kind of golden color That's what you should be focusing on when you're when you're shading. And also to give an indication of the general shape of the dog. And when you want to draw very lightly, hold the pencil very softly in your hand. And you can see that I've changed it so that I'm just holding it with the tip of my forefinger and thumb. And this allows a very, very gentle pressure on the tip, which gives a very soft, pale gray line. You lose a little control over exactly where the line is going to go but you gain a lot of control over the tonality of the line, how dark or light it is. Which is much, much more useful at the moment because if you get a few hairs a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, well, that doesn't matter so much. But if the tone is wrong, if you're drawing them in too dark or too pale, or both at the same time, some of them too dark, some of them too pale, that's a more important fault than 
whether or not a few hairs are out of place because we're just giving it an indication, an approximate indication of, of hairiness. Notice I'm keeping the action of the of the pencil in the direction of the, the growth of the hair. I give more natural look to the coat of the animal. It's obviously going to be a little bit darker under the dog on the inside of the far leg. Because it's going to be very, quite in the shadow, so that's why that's a little darker in there. And again, at the bottom of the chest, there'll be less light reaching there than reaches the top and by the sides and the top of the dog. Don't forget that you can go over to easyanimalstodraw.com to get some helpful additional material to help you begin your drawing, which you can download as a PDF file. You can download the drawing guide, which will be useful, which will be is a useful addition to help you draw your golden retriever. Useful addition to this video. If you want to soften the look, you can also rub it with the tip of your finger to smudge the pencil drawing a little bit, which gives a slightly softer look, if you think that's what you'd like. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget you can tap the bell to get notifications of more videos, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bring a little bit of shadow underneath to show that the dog is standing on a surface rather than floating in, in mid-air. And you can put this in with pencil or say if you get a little bit of graphite on your finger it works very well also just to put this in with the tip of your finger with a few strokes. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and see you next time.